there, Bear. Plug for it? No. Alright, we'll come back. Boats and stuff because he had a bad back this morning. So. Yeah. You know? Did you walk around already? I've only been walking around for maybe a couple minutes. Yeah. You want Goldeneye? No. Goldeneye is a good one, ain't it? You want a really nice copy of Four Monsters? Stuff's freezing the second. Oh, I know. I can't feel my toes. <laughs> this is all new stuff, huh? Yeah. Yeah, you want this? Yeah, I don't think I have it. Justin, what are you getting on your uh, games, pal? Uh oh. Do you have a foot warmer? This is kind of cool. It's a multi cart. <laughs> Alright, let's see what he's gonna do. Was that already out of No, no, remember that I, you were yeah, taking yeah. out of the box, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They don't have a buy it though, they just fucking walk away. Uh, of course, you know how it is. How much for this? 50 bucks. What is it? Five. Well, the guy came over. Oh, right. Right. I didn't have everything in the case yet because it had a huge stack of all the GameCube and everything. They are all these the same price? Yeah, they're all $100 each. Fuck out of here. Gold Mario, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, I don't need this one either. I think I got this one. Do I got this one? I don't no, know. I don't have this yeah. one. Do I have this one? I don't know. Godzilla Unleashed on the Wii. That's cool. I think I have that. No, I, I have it on the PS2. Yeah, that's a good one. For some reason, I'm a Godzilla game. I think it's a platformer. No. I can go cold eye, eh? Yeah, uh, my feet are broken right now. I don't know why. <laughs> oh, I got Sonic Boom. Sonic Boom! I don't have that. Oh, it's not worth anything. What's Sonic going for? I'm not even recording, look at that, I'm a terrible YouTuber. <laughs> I know. All that babble. We want to battle toads. There's literally just enough space to walk through all the way down and we have to push them out. And it seems like we that, that, that's my pile. I, I looked through a little bit of it, but I only got 10 bucks. 
grabbing yeah. stuff, yeah. I have a lot of apps. I didn't even. Yeah, I'm picking that thing, dude. I'm not even. That's like a 300 piece project. I was about to tell you this. I think this is PS1 game. Yeah, put the battle bunker over there, too. We have one of You know, it does it have. I think it's only one disc. It is, but it came with a pair of uh, 3D glasses. Ah, sweet. Um, I was asking 30 for it's complete. It's beautiful. Even the piece on the roof is going to be 20. And buy it a lot. 25. Pretty, it's in pretty good shape, man. Well, yeah, the only thing I'm missing is this piece right here. So I'm going to just shift the camera. <laughs> This doesn't work. <laughs> it doesn't work. You want to put batteries in? No, we're going to those old. Uh, we were asking 20 on that, but if you want to do 20 on that, 15 on this. So 35 for both of them? Only if it's got Silent Hill on it. Sorry, boss. Sydney 2000. Sammy Sosa. Oh, I know it. You want a 3D game? Will that shit over there too? Huh. Japanese too. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's not bad. What's it going for? I'm up to 40 so far. I added both of those together. Is it still going for 20? I wanted this, but That's kind of cool. Yeah, I was looking at those too. Back for your seal. Then. Is it just some random. Yeah, the idea. I just grabbed Battletoads, so. This is the guy that listened to right? Yeah, that's Hawk. Yeah, I'm asking 35. Or do you want to show me the dial? You want to take a look at which one? Uh, I'll look at them all just to okay. see. <clears throat> So with these, thank you. Mm -hmm. And what do we got on uh, the Game Boy cart? Also with that one. Crunchy. I don't know, I'm just gonna see what he wants for the box. What do you want in the box of games? Three bucks a piece. Okay. What would you want for the whole box? Count them out. Count them out. I just got all this stuff yesterday. Alright. Yeah. I don't wanna 
Squish Jesus. I don't know. I don't know. I don't see what's in here. They're kind of, kind of crunchy, but it's it's three. Three. yeah. No bag. Put the bags in there somewhere. Ooh. Think it works. I think 40? 40? Give me 100. Kind of crusty. If not, you said how much a piece? Three a piece. There's a bunch that, I mean, they're some of them are pretty beat, and I hope they would work. But I mean, there's I pay a lot. Found dollar eighty bucks. Eighty bucks. That's what two bucks a piece. <laughs> My cousin be pissed. I haven't shown him anything. Who? My cousin be pissed. He can't the game stuff, but I can leave it to get it. Yeah, I think so. It's 40 games, 80 bucks. Not bad. Cool. Anything in uh, the in the guy? Uh, he did, yeah. Oh, yeah? Some of these for a couple weeks. A couple weeks. Dude, he used to set up at um uh Cumberland, not Cumberland, uh what the hell was that? Um I just like the long box shit. Um he used to set up at uh like Providence? No, uh, I can't remember where the hell it is. Yeah, and uh he used to ask like obscene amounts of stuff. This used to be, this went up in price for a while and then came back down. That came down at all because of the remake. 
See a Wii U game. <sighs> he had one one long box game. I wonder if he sold it. That's right here in front of my face. Yeah. <laughs> It's such a terrible game, but it's done with the real life, like how they do the first Mortal Kombat yeah, they style. Them. Yeah. Yeah, but you can replace these cases. They actually make aftermarket cases for these now. What do you want for these two? Maybe 20 bucks? Bring me, yeah. bring me down to a 200 and I'm... Right. What about what's Medieval? Up. What's that guy running for? It's in decent condition. <laughs> These cases are... Yeah, it's not bad. A little dusty. That's sick. Ah, you Eels. got your, your, your got my sausage. Is that one or two? That's just, it's just one. Yeah. Last week. You want that for another twenty? Yeah. Yeah, I'll hold off. Twenty bucks. You'll make your money on it, so. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Hey guys, what's going on? Justin here. Uh, so here's everything I got from the past two weeks. Uh, some pretty good stuff and some pretty decent finds. Uh, so we're just going to kind of dive right in. Uh, it's not necessarily timeline wise because someone, I don't remember exactly when I got it, but I'll show you everything I found. Uh, I grabbed this lot actually off of Facebook marketplace. Uh, nice little lot, nice little lot that I picked up. Uh, got the whole lot, the PS one slim in all these games, mainly bought it for shadow tower for the collection. It's in nice shape. It was resurfaced, but it works. No problem. I do got to put it back in a different case, but I grabbed this whole lot. Uh, I paid 60 bucks on it, which is not bad. Uh, it's a pretty good scene. This game goes for 100 to 100, like low. I've seen it go like 90 high, like is up is over 120. Uh, so still nice pickup. Glad to pick, uh, grab that for the collection. The rest of them I have. So everything, uh, I think I'm keeping Chronicles too, but every, everything else I have. So will be for sale or trade i'll probably put a couple games with that guy and sell it off i grabbed i went to a toy show not last saturday but the saturday before so we can go last saturday and there wasn't much stuff at the toy show i did grab one really cool thing which you guys will see in the next toy video i went around there was also kind of like a flea market there so i walked around found a couple cool things got some good deals i grabbed uh silent hill 2 complete bloody roar as uh, mint and Castlevania Adventure. Uh, I paid 25 bucks for the three of those, which is a really good deal. Silent Hill generally goes for like 15 to 20 on the Xbox. Um, Castlevania Adventure I'm keeping. Bloody Roar is a double, but it's like a 25 to 30 dollar game. The coolest part about the whole transaction is the guy gave me uh, my games in the KB toy bag. He basically had a bag of KB toys bags. Uh, I know a lot of people have been interested in that. I think I'm going to keep it. I don't really know. I don't like bags but the nostalgia of the kb toys is just you know great uh at another booth a guy had a lot of high priced video games like stuff right at ebay or right under um so it wasn't anything i'm picking up i did ask about this it's complete in the box paid 15 bucks for it i felt it was a good deal i know people online are charging only 20 bucks just for the box the box is in pretty nice shape a couple you know a little dents on it but nothing crazy uh something i wanted for my collection complete now I have it complete, so 15 bucks, good deal. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I'll just go in the order. Savers finds, few and far between nowadays, but I did get lucky, and I walked into Savers, and I... Uh, all right, so like I was saying, sorry, uh, a couple Savers finds, which are really cool. Paid two bucks a piece for these. Uh, two, I only bought that one because it's factory sealed, 
uh, two bucks for that. Uh, mint, they're all in mint condition. And I got another copy of Metroid Prime. I picked up one like two weeks ago. So definitely cool. Uh, the price tags are still on it. Obviously, you guys saw the video on it. Uh, to get Skies of Arcadia for two bucks, it's an easy $80 game. Sometimes up to 100 So second time I found it at that Savers, by the way. Uh, but the first time I found it in another case and it was disc only. But still, awesome finds all the way around for two bucks a piece. Grabbed this guy at Savers recently for $4.99. The only reason I grabbed it is it's not something I see very often, and it had the manual. I think it's like a $15 game with the manual. So definitely cool to pick that up at Savers because they had a bunch of other stuff priced right at eBay, just under a little bit. Nothing I needed, uh, nothing worth picking up to flip. Um, so still cool. Uh, I'm not sure if I showed these off. If I did, I apologize. Um, the the Smash Brothers I got, maybe it was the last video. There's no manual with it. Um, it's in eh shape. I got to test it. Hopefully it works. If it does, it's going to be for sale or trade because I don't need one for my collection. The War of the Monsters, actually, I got that along with these guys. I got off a friend of mine, Justin, at the flea market. I pink, I pink, <laughs> I think I paid 25 or 30 bucks for all of these and the War of the Monsters. The War of the Monsters is mint, I'm keeping it in the collection. The rest of these are gonna be for sale because I'm pretty sure I have them all. Uh, this I don't know much about. Obviously it's a multi-cart for the Game Boy. I don't know if it's worth anything extra or what. I haven't really looked at anything into it. Um, kind of cool, I'm gonna pop it in and see what happens when you pop it in, but. Definitely cool little thing. No idea why that's sitting on the table. I grabbed from my buddy Greco at the Franklin Toy Show last week. He was the only guy who had some games. Uh, I grabbed the Contra Legacy of War. It's missing the 3D glasses, but I'm pretty sure it's always missing the 3D glasses. Um, I grabbed Battletoads. It has a couple issues. You know, a little rip on the back. Nothing too crazy, but I didn't have it. He gave it to me for five bucks. So nice pickup there. I also got Galaga. I also got Galaga in the box complete. Um, you know, it's a box game. I think he gave it to me for five or ten bucks. So, again, not a bad deal. I was happy to pick that up. Sorry. Um, my little guy's over there shouting at me. All right. So, uh, where was I? Ben. Hey. <laughs> so, yesterday I went out with Greco. Uh, took him to the... Went out with Greco for his birthday, so everybody say happy birthday to Greco. Yesterday, uh, let's try this for the third time. Went out yesterday for Greco's birthday. Um, we went, took him to the Seekong Flea Market for the first time. Fortunately, it was kind of terrible. Uh, I did get lucky and found a guy. He was literally putting out a box full of NES games. So there's 40 games total. I got the 40 games and a Game Boy. No back, but I have a back for it. So hopefully that'll clean up nice. Um, these things, some of them are dirty. Some of them might be surprised if they work, to be honest with you. Um, I basically paid about two bucks a game. Uh, not a bad deal. You know, at two bucks a game, easy, easy flip for the stuff I don't want to keep for when I do the toy shows and stuff. The best games there, uh, these top four are the five pin variations, or the five screw variations, sorry. Um, so definitely cool there. Uh, I already had a five screw Mario. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep the Athena. Um, but definitely, these are some of the better titles. Um, Ninja Gaiden, that's a double for me. Mega Man 4 is a double. The, the label got some like grease or something on it. So unfortunately, that label's kind of effed up. Um, the Shinobi, I don't believe I have, so I'm keeping that. And Mega Man 5. Uh, I clean this guy up. He looks really clean. Hopefully, he's going to work all right. I still got to test it. I'm going to pop it in my my NES, and hopefully it'll fire up. If not, I'll be sad. But at least um, I am keeping Mega Man 5 because I didn't have it in the collection. So hopefully that does work and go with my Mega Man collection. Um, also grabbed Haunted House. I thought it was worth more, um, but it's not. It's like a $3 game at the most. Eh, it is what it is. And then on the way out, ran into another guy I know who watches the channel. Uh, he's a reseller. I think he keeps some stuff, but mostly resells. He bought a guy out of all his video game stuff who used to set up at um, a different flea market, indoor flea market that we've been to. Um, 
and I've been eyeing these for a while, and then the other guy gave them to me for a fraction of the cost. I basically paid 10 bucks a piece for these. Uh, Total Eclipse is about the retail cost, and that's like a $12 game. But Medieval's like 35 bucks. Street Fighter goes for about 30 bucks. Um, I just love the lawn box PlayStation stuff, so those were cool to add to the collection. I didn't have Medieval, so that was a nice piece to add to the collection. Um, but, yeah, I mean, overall, for there only being like 20 vendors there, um, there was probably more than 20 vendors, but it seemed like 20 vendors. Not a bad day, uh, you know, especially getting this lot and getting those. And then I went to Super Mega Fest and met a bunch of the guys from the Warriors movie, uh, which was cool. So I spent a ton of money over the past two weeks and need to recoup some. So hopefully I can do that. But as always, thanks for watching, guys. If you see anything you like, let me know. Um, the GameCube stuff, the PS1 stuff mostly is going to be for trade or sale. Um, you know, if I say I'm going to keep it, then, you know, I'll let you know. Uh, but that's it guys. So if you see anything you like, let me know, hit me up on Instagram and Facebook as always links will be below, uh, like subscribe, comment. If you haven't already, if you, uh, are not subscribed, please subscribe. I really appreciate it. We're at about just 5,400 subscribers, which is awesome. And I really appreciate you guys supporting me along the way. So I will talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching. Peace out.